Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate beginner's guide to the new champion Shen. There are timestamps in the description if you just want to skip around, because in the beginning part, I'm going to explain to you guys how to use his abilities. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to combo his abilities. I'm going to be giving you guys tips and tricks about how to use his abilities. And I'm going to be giving you general tips and tricks on Shen. And then in the last part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to build Shen and what runes to use. So let's get into it. Shen is a very interesting champion. It's a bruiser, right? Like this, this, this is a tank. So how can we already see that he is a bruiser? By his passive. You gain a shield that absorbs a certain amount of damage, depending on your level and how much stats you have. And then it's like it skills up with bonus health. So the more health you have, the more bonus health. And what bonus health means is like Sunfire Ages, for example, gives you 500 bonus health. So th that's what, how you get the bonus health. And then the more you have, the bigger the shield. And then, so let me just show you actually real quick. So boom. Simple as that. You see, I get a shield and that's it. It stays for two and a half seconds and I get it. And then there is a there is a bar under my HP. You see this bar right here? It charges up, it charges up, it charges up until it turns red. And then I have, then I get the shield again. So if I use the second ability, as you can see, it doesn't give me the shield up until completion of the ability. Very important thing to understand, especially with the ultimate, because your ultimate takes a few seconds to charge. So just so you know, upon completion of your abilities, that's when you get the shield only. So like when you need it really quick, I'm already gonna give you a quick little tip. Be careful with using the second ability, because even though it takes away basic attacks, ability damage that gets th thrown towards you, like you won't get the shield instantly, basically. So to instantly get the shield, you can use different abilities. So the next thing to understand about this ability is, if the ability affected at least one champion, your key barrier cooldown is reduced by seven and a half seconds. So uh, at max level, the cooldown is 10 seconds, but I believe at level one, the cooldown is gonna be a little longer. So let's take a look at what it means. So if I hit a champion, boom. After the cooldown actually, oh no, it works, yeah. Boom, you see, the cooldown is only two and a half seconds. And even if you miss a champion and then hit a champion, the cooldown gets reduced. I was a bit confused because if you do it like this, uh, it doesn't actually refund the cooldown, it just makes it faster. But yeah, it's the same principle. If you're able to hit an enemy champion with your ability, your third ability or your first ability, it reduces the cooldown massively. So this is very, very important. As you can see, fight, fight, then another fight. And I'll show you during the combos more about this, just so you know. But basically, if you can hit enemy champions with your abilities, huge, it reduces the cooldown. Another thing, you gain back 20 energy, and this depends on your level as well, whenever Shen's abilities damage an enemy. So yet again, like incredibly important to actually hit an enemy with your abilities, because then you can continuously spam your abilities. So how does his first ability work? There is a lot written right here, but let me just summarize it to you very easily. When you click on your first ability, actually, first of all, look, you see the sword right here. It doesn't matter where you move. The sword stays there. Like as you can see, that sword stays all the way there. And your abilities have like an effect with this sword. So your first ability, when you activate it, you recall the sword to yourself, right? Like you bring the sword to yourself. So the first thing that it does, if we read it again, your next three attacks, let me actually put my finger there just to show you, recalls the blades and then enhancing his next three attacks. Okay, so it enhances your next three attacks. So let me show you what that means. You recall the sword, one, two, three three it deals bonus damage like look now i only deal a little bit of damage but when i activate my first ability boom boom and boom it deals bonus damage and it skills with the enemy's max hp very very powerful like a really really good ability against tanks it deals bonus damage equal to their max hp but this is only if you recall it and not hit anything like your attack gets buffed boom 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 but the ability becomes infinitely more powerful if you're able to hit an enemy with your sword. So if you recall a sword and hit an enemy like this, boom, boom, boom. So there's a few things that changed. First of all, the, the, the basic attacks deal nearly double the damage, okay? Like first of all, it deals more damage. As you can see, if I hit an enemy, it deals way more damage, 422, 393, and then 400. And if I recall it to myself, it only deals 312, 220. You see what I'm trying to say? So recalling it through an enemy makes it do much more damage okay next thing if you hit an enemy you get bonus attack speed and this is huge like it gives you 50 percent bonus attack speed so if you compare it to not hitting an enemy one two three to then hitting an enemy one two three 
it's huge it allows you to deal a lot of damage and then if you combine it with the max hp plus seven percent of the enemy's max hp in the late game of course that's 21 percent of the enemy's max health damage and if you have it with bonus attack speed huge right this is huge very very important to hit this to an enemy another effect that it has which i unfortunately cannot show you on a dummy but let me just read it out for you it's pretty easy to understand if you hit an enemy right like if you hit an enemy with your spirit blade while casting this ability you slow the enemy by 30% and this skills with the level like as you can see in the beginning it's only 15% then 20 25 30 but basically if you if you hit an enemy when they try to run away from you they get slowed by 30% when moving away from you so only if this dummy tries to run away from me he will get slowed by 30% which is pretty good so now let's talk about the second ability um this one is very good see, like you kind of have to see this one as jax's third ability but throw it on the ground like basically this is jax doing his dodge but then the dodge works on all of the allies within it so this right here if there's any allies into this it works like it works and you can shoot it on an ally as well as you can see you can shoot it to yourself you can shoot it to an ally you see like you can shoot it to yourself or to an ally and then if you do it like this you and the ally both get affected so if an enemy tries to basic attack you it doesn't affect you when minions try to basic attack you like look wait a minute look blocked you see blocked it blocks it so keep that in mind it's really good to block out basic attacks um there's not really anything else to know about this ability like when you upgrade it it reduces the cooldown but this is the last ability upgrade that you take oh i'll tell you about which ability upgrades to take after the explanation by the way third ability this is my favorite ability from shen dashes forward dealing physical damage yet again scaling up with the more bonus health you have to enemy champions and monsters and you taunt them for 1.5 seconds let me show you let me show you Joof, and you taunt an enemy this is absolutely massive if you can hit multiple enemies with it like let's say there's like five enemies here boom you will taunt all of them and the beauty of this ability is it reduces the cooldown of your passive and it's so easy to hit it's so damn easy and like i was gonna talk about combos already but like you know you know stuff like this but i'll tell you all about this during the combo part now let's talk about the ultimate channels for three seconds shielding an allied champion for a lot of health and then it also skills with your bonus health for five seconds and this shield increases based on the based on your allies missing health so let me show you you will see ally number one here ally number two obviously you will see that you will see the champion icon when you're in a game so let's say i want to teleport to him boom you instantly provide a shield and as i said this shield gets increased to up to 60 percent based on his missing health and you will shield your ally keep in mind however enemies can cancel this dash that might be a d dangerous thing you will still give the shield but if an enemy like immobilizes you the dash your your ultimate will get cancelled so keep that in mind but this is really good to help an ally that it, that needs help and it works across the whole map like it doesn't matter where your allies are it works across the map so let's say your Lee Sin is trying to invade the enemy jungle you can then boom teleport to the Lee Sin give a barrier and then help him out in a team fight right so now let's talk about combos and some tips and tricks um okay so first of all it's really important to hit your blade on the ally uh, on on the enemy sorry so a very good combo is trying to get close to an enemy like basic attack range close nearly basic attack range close you don't have to be exactly basic attack range i'll explain to you why use your first ability and then basic attack basic attack basic attack the reason that i'm telling you to be close to the enemy is because the enemy's movement speed is going to be reduced when he tries to run away from you so if you get close to an enemy like this and your your blade is behind them boom basic attack basic attack basic attack so let's say your blade is not like in a position for you to be able to easily hit it what you can do is then first ability flash sorry like that you have to you have to time it very well um if you have it here like if you have it very far away you can first ability and then flash boom you see just like that so like if your first ability let me show it to you again is not it's not in a position where you can easily hit this dummy right like i want to hit him but i can't 
you can use your first ability and then flash behind the dummy and then boom 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 okay so that's a very simple one if it is behind the dummy base first ability basic attack basic attack basic attack very easy combo it deals a lot of damage so there is another combo with your third ability first of all just so you know you can combo flash with your with your third ability so you can engage like this oh oops i didn't click it you can engage like this and then boom flash to the enemy like this is huge this is obviously huge like look at this boom boom oops i missed it let me try again you have to get a little close you have to practice it as you can see it's not the easiest combo but it's very powerful so you do the third ability and then the beauty is you can you, you can charge it up here and then you can hit another enemy as well so let me show you uh enemy dummy so you can charge through one dummy and then boom hit another one as well you see so you can you can hit enemies from a really long range boom boom you hit both of them this is huge right like this is huge you can even do it like that it's super big so now let me tell you about a combo first ability and your sword has to be like behind the enemy first ability basic attack basic attack basic attack third ability another thing that you can do let me show you this is quite complicated but if you get it you get it you can use your first ability and while you're using it you can dash through the enemy if you don't want to waste your flash you can do it like this as well so you use let me show it to you again you can use your first ability you can even like there's crazy combos like first ability dash and then you have to do it super fast like wait let me show you if your first ability is really far away like here sorry if your blade is really far away you can charge up your blade so first ability then third ability get and then flash behind the enemy and then basic attack, basic attack, basic. Let me show you. Like that. Basic attack, basic attack, basic attack. This is some very advanced stuff, but this is what it takes to play Shan. These are the combos that you can do. So also, like if you're really close to an enemy, basic attack, first ability, basic attack, basic attack, third ability, basic attack. It's like there's countless combos. There's countless combos that you can do. And then obviously you can incorporate your second ability in it whenever the enemy uses important abilities. Like if the enemy tries to do a big damage ability that it's a basic attack ability, you can use your second ability whenever you have to. Like you're dashing, second ability. You see? Like you can do it whenever you feel like you have to. You can do it instantly as well. Like there's just countless possibilities. And then with your ultimate, you know, your ult to an ally... And then instant second ability to save your ally, right? Or your ult to an ally. Instant second ability and then third ability and then first ability. Really, really big, guys. This is really, really important. Because keep in mind, when you teleport to an ally, you bring your sword with you as well. So let me show you one more time. Let me just show you one more time. These are all very big combos. Teleport. I'm going to show it to you slowly then fast. After the teleport. You shield the ally with your second ability. Then you dash to an enemy. You taunt the enemy. Then you use your first ability to bring your blade through the enemy. And then basic attack, basic attack, basic attack. Okay? Now let me show it to you again. And then a little bit, of, a little bit faster. Ultimate. Save your ally. Boom, boom, boom. Basic attack, basic attack, basic attack. You get it? So now let's actually get to the build and runes for Shen. Um, yeah, let's get to the build and runes. So Shen is a very interesting champion. As you can see, there's a lot of different combos that you can do. I showed you some very important ones, but there is more to it. I cannot show you everything because there is just way too much. But what I showed you is basically the basic combos that you can do. So now let's talk about how to build Shen. So um, Shen is really good with health items, right? Like he really wants to get health items because he skills incredibly well with health items. And then also ability haste items. You want to get ability haste. What is going to be the perfect item? Sunfire Ages. 500 bonus health and then 15 ability is this is pretty much always going to be your starting item and then the next item is already situational you can get a dead man's plate or you can get a thorn mill reason that thorn mill is good is because your third ability taunts the enemy so when you taunt an enemy especially a ranged enemy the enemy will attack you because he's taunted so your thorn mill is going to be dealing damage to that enemy right it's just a good one and then like, no, not a spirit visage. I, I thought that I changed it for a force of nature, but I forgot apparently. Force of nature, if you need magic resist, you know, frozen heart is good. Randoms omen is good. It's all just good. The thing is, though, like, frozen heart is good, but he doesn't use any mana, so you would be, you would be wasting the max mana. So, 
uh, you know, actually don't go for this item unless you really need it, unless you really want to slow the attack speed. But yeah, basically, you go for these types of items. You don't go for anything like a Sterox Gauge or, I mean, you could, but it's just not worth it. You don't go for any attack damage items because he wants health. He wants as much health as he can get. And his, his abilities will do more than enough damage. Like, you don't have to worry about damage. For your boots, you know, plated steel caps, mercury threads, whatever you need. And then you can get a stone plate to be super duper tanky. Never get a teleport because obviously you have your ultimate. Uh, stasis, you're not that squishy, but I guess if you want to get stasis, you can. You don't really need it because you already have your second ability to save you from a lot of stuff. Only if you get destroyed by like a fizz ultimate or something, you could get stasis. Proto belt is good as well. It allows you to get behind the enemy and shoot your blade through the enemy. So whatever you feel like you need. For your runes, you always go for Grasp. This is always your go-to rune. By the way, keep in mind, uh, Shen just came out, so the build may change a little bit, but this is the build that I have for you guys right now. Uh, weakness is good because you're going to be taunting the enemies constantly. You can go for something like a Triumph as well, just because Triumph is so incredibly broken. But if you want to support your team a little bit, go for Weakness. I recommend Triumph, however, but both are good. Third one, you can go for Hunter Titan or you can go for uh, Conditioning. In the late game, you will be so damn tanky because you're basically building as many HP items as you can. So Conditioning is going to be worth a lot for you. And for your fourth one, you go for Hunter Genius. Don't go for Sweet Tooth because he doesn't have any mana, so it's kind of a waste. Um, just go for hunter genius so yeah guys oh for your spells by the way you go for ignite uh you could go for exhaust i i recommend ignite however barrier is decent as well but yet again you already have your second ability to, to be defensive you lack damage so ignite is gonna be better generally so that is it for the shen guide um uh, make sure you give the video a like you know put a comment under the video and uh, yeah i'll see you all in the next wild drift video bye bye